Hi, I'm Kathy Kiley, president of the Ad Club, and welcome back to the Big Orange Couch. Today, I'm on the couch with Blaze De Silva. Blaze is the vice president of media, sports, and entertainment marketing at Anheuser Busch. Welcome to the Big Orange Couch, Blaze. Thank you for having me. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what you see of, are the challenges in this category right now in the in the beer business for you. Sure. I may see one of the, the big challenges is just getting uh, consumers to drink uh, you know, more beer responsibly, but to drink more beer. The category has been, you know, fairly flat over the last, you know, five years. And then, you know, we have our battleground in terms of, you know, getting our share of that of the category. And there's obviously, you know, the imports. There's the craft beers um, that are all, you know, coming after us, and um, it's very challenging uh, for us. And so that's why we have to figure out how we can find assets that we can then activate and leverage that really connect with consumers. Talk a little bit about how you work with the leagues mm -hmm. and the teams. Yep. And then I think you did a remarkable job about talking about how you then regionalize those programs. Sure. From a national basis, you know, obviously there's things like, um, you know, national media that we do buying, you know, like you said, our superstitions commercials that air across all of the uh, networks that broadcast um, NFL football games. So we have, you know, the media component. We have a national digital component where we're running, you know, national programs digitally. We have our Fan Zone app, which is a sort of a predictive second screen gaming opportunity for fans to predict plays and outcomes of games as they are taking place. Um, so while you're watching the game, and then you can earn points and win prizing uh, from 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 Anheuser Busch or from Bud Light. Um, we also have uh, national digital promotions going on. Uh, where people are uh, uh, able to uh, enter onto Facebook and you know put their favorite superstition uh, into Facebook, and then people can see what are the best superstitions of, of each team. So we have a lot going on from you know from a digital standpoint. We also activate you know obviously packaging you know and at retail with uh, a national sponsorship, but that also works well with a local sponsorship. So we can use national NFL marks on our packaging. So we'll do that around kickoff, we'll do that around the Super Bowl, but then we can also, in the markets where we have the local team sponsorships, add the local team marks to our secondary and primary packaging. So that works really well, really connects with the consumer. And then, of course, the Bud Light Hotel is our big, uh, is, the, is, is really the single biggest brand activation at a sporting event in the country because we take over a hotel mm -hmm. and it's completely rebranded the Bud Light Hotel and the immersive experience that we give our consumers not only through the hotel stay but also the parties that accompany it where we get top musical acts for four days you know three nights and then Sunday afternoon um, we have the best musical acts last year you know we had Stevie Wonder on Saturday night which tied into our superstitions campaign because we obviously used his music um, and then we, you know, we had Pitbull, we had Flo Rider, uh, and, and amongst other acts that we had. So that's an, it's, it's an incredible uh, experience for us to, for, for consumers, for our key customers to experience and see, you know, what the Bud Light brand is all about. More and more you're spending a lot of effort and energy and money um, on music. Talk a little bit about what what started that? What we wanted to do was create a music festival, which we did, which is Budweiser Made in America, which is a two-day festival in Philadelphia over Labor Day weekend, and it's curated by Jay-Z. So we looked at it and we said, you know, between music, between the brand, between the consumer and what the millennial consumer is all about, uh, which is about, you know, discoverability and determination and innovation and sociability, um, and, and Jay-Z, who not only is uh, you know, a music icon, but really is a pop cultural icon in America. If you think about those four pillars and bringing it together, it's really the intersection of that. And so we created this festival, and this is our second year this year in, in 2013. And uh, you know, we made some tremendous progress uh, this year um, uh, in terms of how we were able to activate that event. So whether it's the live streaming that we do to give the consumers the experience who are not at the festival, to give them the um, uh, the uh, experience to see the festival. We did, you know, we did live streaming around the festival. Um, we did made-in parties that led up to the festival. So we did made-in, in, made in Boston or made-in uh, New York or made-in Chicago. So we did 30 made-in parties around the country that gave our local markets the ability to activate around a music platform and create some excitement around ultimately, you know, made in America uh, uh, in Philadelphia. We also did some uh, content creation and amplification with Vice, uh, a media company. So Vice produced over 90 videos for us that we pushed out through social channels, a heavy push through Facebook that give 
people a lot of you know behind the scenes or, or understanding the artists who are part of the festival and you know what songs made them what was their career about uh, what was a turning point in their career so we did you know again 90 pieces of content that we pushed out and 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 amplified and then of course the festival itself um, you know we essentially you know we own it from a branding standpoint it is Budweiser made in America so unlike other music festivals which we sponsor and we are great uh, vehicles for us in other ways the difference here was that it was Budweiser made in America and we were able to put a lot more Budweiser branding but more importantly Budweiser experiences at the festival so whether we had project 12 where we had our brew masters there sampling other Budweiser brews that they have that they have created to a Budweiser beer garden to Budweiser build a bars where people could sit and have a beer or to the Budweiser beer garden I mean we had tremendous Budweiser experiences there we also had cause village where we had some of our cause marketing efforts around uh, recycling and, and um, uh, water conservation we had other folks there promoting you know cause marketing efforts because that's a, an important uh, uh, marketing tool for uh, for Millennials as well as Guitar Village which was kind of a culmination of those maiden parties where we had a local artist paint a guitar at every one of those maiden parties and we displayed those at Made in America and we'll be displaying them in St. Louis at our at our, at our uh, tour facility in in, in, uh, in St. Louis so again tremendous activation thinking about all the ways in which we can really engage the consumer and bring them closer to the Budweiser brand to appreciate what Budweiser can bring for them and what and what Budweiser is really about terrific so just in closing what is next in the category what do you see as the um, next big thing coming down the road for you for Anheuser-Busch? Well certainly um, you've seen it in the last couple of years in the categories the innovation in the category so we were very successful last year with our launch of Bud Light Platinum which was uh, it's a, a little higher alcohol um, uh, a beer that is for you know we're trying to uh, bring it out for an, a nighttime occasion um, we were uh, very successful successful with Bud Light Lime Lime, Lime Arita, and this this year, uh, Bud Light Lime, Strawberry, so those have become very popular and very successful. So innovation um, is very much a, a key in the category right now, and we're constantly looking at ways that we can, you know, innovate our brands or create new brands that are going to help us, you know, um, win over the consumer. So innovation seems to be, you know, the, the big thing in the category right now. Well, thank you, Blaze, so much. This has really been interesting. We've learned an awful lot about the beer business in a very short amount of time. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. And we really appreciate you joining us on the Big Orange Couch. And as your parting gift, we give everyone who sits on the Big Orange Couch this T-shirt. And it says, I sat on the Big Orange Couch. <laughs> and there are very few of these in circulation, so great. don't give it away. You great. hang on to this. You'll be in good company. That sounds great. All thank right. you so much. Thank, thank you. you for having me. And thank you all again for joining us on the Big Orange Couch.